Ah, uh, hell yeah. Always wanted to do that. If I was in the Fast and Furious, though, I would be dead. But, at least get the hood under there. Yeah, what up YouTube, it's your boy Denali, AKA Don Squally. Uh, back at y'all with another little update video. So it's been uh, quite a few months since I've installed the upgraded big bore throttle body. And uh, people were asking what my opinion is on it so far. Now, I absolutely love it. Um, it definitely made a big difference on the launches. Uh, second gear pulls, absolutely insane uh, up top. The, uh, the RPM range actually uh, bumped up a little bit. My car used to redline strictly at 6,500 RPMs. Um, now it'll bank off the rev limiter at like 6,700. Oh, somebody's revving her up over there. Uh, now it'll max out at like 6,700, 6,700 RPM, uh, which is absolutely crazy considering that I haven't even tuned this car yet. Now, one thing that did happen to me is I got a check engine light and I forget what the exact code was, but it came back for a high idle. So I did the throttle body relearn. Um, there's actually three things that I did. The throttle body relearn, um, the idle position sensor, and one other thing. So I did have to do the relearn procedures. And um, the, en the engine light did end up coming back a couple of times. Now, it wouldn't be a constant code. It would just come up, and then it would go into the um, historic codes. So it wasn't something that was constantly on. It would just trigger the check engine light and then go away, just kind of letting me know. But in time, uh, the engine light kind of just stayed away i guess it had to just relearn you know over driving it relearn where the steady idle was and everything like that um so it's check engine light free which is good happy to say that um the one thing that i did have happen now for you guys putting on the nwp kit you may not have this issue i have a 5 8 block spacer on here so that lifts the manifold up obviously 5 8 of an inch and um this kit here this was a custom bracket um, that I got on a, a online forum on Facebook. Now, I had to shave down this corner, as you can see, because it was actually rubbing right here. I don't know how it got over there, but it was actually rubbing right there consistently. Actually, upon further investigation, it looks like that screw right there is what was causing that mark. So that kind of sucks, but I did grind this down, and now it's it's good enough that it's not touching the top there, so I'm just gonna hit that with some spray paint uh, one day soon, not really worried about it too, too much. So yeah, keep that in mind if you guys already have a spacer. Now most guys would go with the 5 16th spacer as opposed to the 5 8 I just put this one on because I got a good deal. Now the NWP kit actually says that the throttle body will not hit the hood with their 5 16th uh, or with the motor, I think it's the Motordyne, the Motordyne 516 spacer. You won't have that issue. I did, but before I realized what was going on, it was a little bit too late. Uh, so I just ground that down. Everything's good with that now. Um, I got the engine cover off. That's why the engine looks so ugly. Now I was planning on doing this completely black, matte black, but I'm gonna probably wait until next season. I don't really care. It's, winter time's coming up soon. I'm just doing a couple of uh, vlogs while the weather's nice here and uh, I'm not really sure when they're gonna be uploaded onto the channel but uh, yeah I'm thinking that's probably it for this video um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update of what's going on so yeah I'm pretty happy with my purchase like I got a solid deal on the uh, on the actual throttle body plus the adapter and the and the harness I just got too good of a deal to pass up so you know that's pretty much the update so i'm thinking this is probably going to be the end of this video um as always if you guys like it let's see if we can get a screenshot here is that a good one if you guys like it uh don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed already uh don't forget to click subscribe and um yeah if you guys want to see daily uploads from me head on over to the gaming channels youtube.com slash don squally we're doing daily uploads there right now we're just doing weekly uploads uh for the main channel here just because uh well it's winter time things are slowing down but we got lots of stuff coming 
for next summer so stay tuned lots of mods uh, maybe even a project car I still haven't really decided yet so make sure that you guys stay tuned and uh, keep rocking with your boy man so with that being said I am your boy Dinali aka Don Squally I just want to say thank you guys for watching we're gonna catch y'all at the next one man <laughs>